Pow Pow, welcome back to the African Crypto Warlord Show. Today we will be looking over that Bitcoin to find out where she is in a probability distribution cone and what we're fighting over in order to see if we're going to be bullish or bearish for the next couple. How long? I'm going to say three, four weeks from these regions. So that was a cone that was set up uh, sometime during May on the 24 hour. <coughs> so what we're going to just observe here is these are just a little bit of ranges. We're going to close here. Poop. Uh, top side range for let's say a, a, a longer lasting new trend will be $20,770 and to the bottom side is $17,797. Okay, so what we're going to observe quick quick sticks is our reverse wave trend and our ultimate power mean. As you can see, we are in the same place. So be wary Bitcoin traders. What's coming up here is your next candle print. You want uh, well. You want this first one to eat to. If you're bullish, you want this first one to close above said orange line and JMA red line, which will turn that red line green. Okay. So, what is happening here is you can have some bear continuation because our JMA has broken through our reverse wave trend, um, and usually there's some continuation. We don't really have to show every single time that it breaks through. But when it does, there's a little bit of continuation to the downside. And if it does break through, your stop is 17,700K. Okay, that's your midway point. That's your higher side for, uh, for, for a scalp out of here if you were to be long once we close above there. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to drop it down, put it onto the 21 day. Put it on the 21 day and just observe what we are doing Okay, so this is the first drive to the downside to try and close below the JMA, and our JMA is sitting at 19,908. So as it picks up, I'll say at 19,950, right, is where you would want to close, which will mean you'll close above the JMA, and you might want to look for some more continuation to the upside. So the 21 day, and let's go see what our return oscillators have to say. So 21 day is mean reverting. So these two points are lining up, JMA and mean reversion point. We have a blue flash currently, so the trade comes once the blue flash ends. Returns are increasing to the downside, but we're losing a downside trend. So let's go see on our 14-day, what our 14-day has to say. Contraction positively correlated, which means some more negative drift, which means more downside for BTC. When does this one print again? It's the 10th, 12th. 26th so on the 26th we will start to get new prints okay so it's which can confirm <coughs> this return oscillator crossing to the downside we still in our bearish trend with returns increasing a little bit to the downside so let's go see if there's some expansion or positive drift that's helped keeping this market up what we can see is a little bit of sideways here action on volatility so it's not a trap what's happening here is, is that these two candles are wanting to close about the same size. Okay. Uh, the actual candle closes. So that would be 19, same target I said, 19,950, where your 24 hour JMA is sitting. Okay. So seven days uh, is sideways. When do we get a new one? 10, 12, on the 19th of September. So in like four days from now, I'm guessing. Three days from now. Contraction positively correlated. All right. There's your three-day signal, all right? So what this means is that we have negative drift in the book and we've got denied mean reversion, bullish mean reversion. If we keep this candle below this orange line at 21,187 before this closes, this closes on the 18th of September, the five-day, then you're going to look for some more continuation to the downside. So then, sorry, that was a five-day, now a three-day is going to say we mean reverting. As you can see, that would match up with this little pump that we have, or a little pump, this little lift that we have here. We're still in a bullish trend on the three-day. Well, not bullish trend. We're still in a bullish posture on the three-day. Returns have stopped decaying to the downside. There's a first push for returns to start increasing to the upside. This three-day says sideways for now. We are expanding and contracting whilst both positively correlated. So that says sideways. So it's not a volatility trap. We'll just go throw it up on the two-day. Who knows what the two-day got to say? Two-day got a bear div coming in contraction negatively correlated so our two days a little bit got us got us some float 
so seven 14 days down seven day five day and three day are looking to find some support from the two day time frame two day time frame there you go is sort of matching up with the same sort of levels so this is 1934 you close above 19845 dollars you can look for some continuation to the upside in the next 12 hours and 30 minutes as that's going to make that cross back through and returns are going to increase which would back that all right um general idea you lift it a bit more up maybe these things don't look so sloppy but there is a phase of volatility to come in which says there could be a possible more negative drift in like three or four days just trade in a 24 hour time frame so we have contraction positively correlated that's still negative drift what you can see here is a bull div that's pulling out of this pocket over here on a reverse wave trend perfect that's nice so here you go there's your bull div bang on and if you you, you get to you, this bull div will more than likely play out to the upside wherever this mean is over here at twenty twenty thousand dollars two hundred and eighty five um if that will only happen <coughs> if this candle crosses above the reverse wave trend which is sitting at nineteen seven fifty okay six hour the six hour will be looking like it's mean reverting i'm sure so it's already had its mean reversion phase okay same idea um you start closing in this little gap over here 1930 to uh, 19700 to 19711 you're gonna easily flip that back down and look for some more continuation outside of this reverse wave trend expansion significantly negatively correlated which is capping this but the new six hour prints in 30 minutes so we'll go have a look at our 30 minute time frame and just observe that to see where that's what's going to happen on our six hour so this is quite nice clean information that we have here volatility is looking like it's wanting to expand but it's going to get capped because the next phase is expansion oh you know what's going to happen here three hours going to go sideways and so yes it might there might be a short that come in but it's going to be the same size candle as this and why do i say that because the next print in 26 minutes is going to send that that way and these two are expanding which means sideways action so the rules of volatility are negating each other which means sideways action all right 90 minute 90 minute is looking what are we doing here contraction also sideways so we're looking for a little bit more clarity here let me go put on our vre levels and boop. there you go that's sort of why we're going a little bit sideways all right so cool 90 minutes so the general idea being is is if we close below the daily mean over here yellow line we're not going to get the outlier event all right and then that's going to help with the steam to break below this red line and that will match the mean reversion phase considering that these candles have just been sideways so the percentage difference is yes they're big candles but it's easier data to flip all right 45 minute rolling in rolling in let's go have a look you see 45 minute is confirming this uh, denied uh, mean reversion attempt if it closes in 25 minutes below jma you can see up and in that's going to want to mean revert so your mean reversion to the downside on the 45 minute comes if you open and close below this uh, for the candle then you'll definitely be at your mean reversion point and then you can look for continuation to the downside so let's see if there's a little bit of positive drift we wanted to be observing on the 30 minute to make sure that our 30 minute and our six hour are speaking okay so there you go we have some positive drift coming in on the 30 minute what that means is a lot of the selling pressure that we might be experiencing is going to be bought up by little lower term time frame bots and algos uh, because of positive drift so you're going to wait for this 30 minute to really dump to the downside once this has been reverted over here then you're going to look for what volatility has to say the next two i'd say the next four 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 thirty minute prints is contra so the first the next two are going to be contracting well it's negatively correlated that's your float up that you're witnessing now and when this turns around and mean reverts through here my pc those these these columns will go red and that's going to be expansion to the upside so generally what we see here is two candle closes below the jma we go down two candle closes above the jma we go up so this is that little oh, doohickey that we're fighting over off right now all right let me just go have a look at the 15 minute and then 
I will put up the distribution cone, 15 minute contraction, positively correlated, a little bit of upside, so a little bit of confusion, but JMA is trying to walk us through here. Okay, cool. I'm going to go put up the distribution cone now. I need to turn off all of these for our 15 minute, pium, pium, and turn that on. Okay, so here's our brand new 15 minute distribution cone. That data doesn't count. I think that is eight candles. I'll just do eight to bring it there. So that's going to be about 24 candles back, I'm guessing. And you get good at this. It's so wrong. Cool. There you go. So here's our new distribution cone. As you can see, we'll match up with these levels here. All flashed. Flash don't mean buy. Flash means volatility is at zero. So what we're going to observe here is we've come up. We hit our first uh, Laplace distribution level to the upside. We've come in. And we've sort of held our second whilst trying to reach for our third. So if it goes from three, I'm looking for six. We're six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm going to draw a horizontal line so that I don't forget that is the target that I'm looking for. One, two, three, four, five, six. And obviously, any one of these levels are going to be failed at. My sixth level is currently at $20,000. Just call it 2000 $20,294 coming off our mean reversion play. All right. So there you go. So here will be a good way to, to match up your data. All right. I'm going to just put these lines. To, oh, I can make this big. So here, shoop, make like so, so that the, so that the cone matches the, 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 the mean. And there we go. So we can see that this distribution cone, I mean, this return oscillator is bounced off of a higher length uh, multi time frame uh, logarithmic moving average of the RO over here. Okay, so that's bounced off there, which correlates with that orange over there, right? So this will cross through if you close above 19854. I hope this was helpful because this is our new distribution cone. That is my upside target. Any targets that we start failing from here, I'm going to just match up with a VRE level. Okay, so let's see if that line. So that is more than likely in the books for the day if it doesn't get scalped out in any one of these regions. But first, you need to close above your daily mean. Um, and this will be our next touch. And as you can see, our VRE level can set in a hidden div because we didn't touch. We didn't make touch. We didn't make touchy. All right, so that is the first level, 19600. And then if you fail that, you'll be looking at 1935. Okay, I hope this was helpful. I'm waiting for mean reversion on the upside. And then I'm going to go have a look into altcoin pairs. So XRP BTC, Solana BTC. See if those guys are getting wrecked. Um, hope you have a good day further. Ciao, Bella. Pow, pow.